Hi Jurassic Cuties, Winnie here. Today we're going to draw Isabel from Animal Crossing. So let's get started. To draw this sweet dog from Animal Crossing, let's first start by drawing her eyes. So I'm going to come right here and draw a circle. And I'm going to come right across, say about this much. Not too much, just enough room for her little nose. And we're going to just draw another circle. So I'm going to make this one a little bit bigger. Okay, so then from there, let's make them draw so cute eyes. So two small circles inside for highlights and a curved line at the bottom and shade in the top. And the lines at the bottom. And same thing over here. So if you love this game, Animal Crossing, uh, please make sure to check out my Animal Crossing playlist for the characters that um, I've drawn and will draw. So please let me know in the comments below what other characters you would love me to draw from this uh, game. Okay, so I have her draw stick your eyes in and I'm going to come above the eye and I'm going to draw a curve, a thickened curve above her eye. So say about right here, I'm just going to slightly slant a curve right over her eye. And then I'm going to come in here and just thicken it up and shade it in. So same thing right here. Just come over right here and draw a slight line that kind of curves down over her eye and thicken it up. And shade it in. There. Okay, so then from there, let's come between her eyes and we're going to draw a little oval for her nose. So about right here, I'm just going to go ahead and draw a small little oval right in the center. From there, let's draw her mouth right under her nose. So it's going to be kind of like a widen out V. So I'm just going to come to the center of this nose just to make it a little bit easier and just say about right here, I'm just going to give myself a point. And from this point, I'm just going to start about right here and go up with a curve to create this widen out V for her mouth. So you can do it this way, just start from here and go up on both sides if you like, if that's a little bit easier. But this way it just makes it easier for me to see right in the center. Okay. Okay, so then from there, um, we can go ahead and start her face. So I'm going to come to where her eyes are, say the center of where her eye is, just come out about right here. Same thing on both sides, so about right here. And I'm going to draw a wide curve. So I'm going to start right here. And this area is going to be a little bit wider for her cheeks. And then I'm just going to go ahead and connect it under her um, mouth. And connect. There. And then now we can bring this up a little bit more. So kind of like where her brow, where that curve is over her eye, actually. It's not her brow. <laughs> it's just a curve. Her lids. So about right there, I'll stop. And in this area, now I'm going to start to draw her bangs. So I'm going to come to the center. Let's find her center of her face and say right about here. I'll just give myself a point. And from this point, I'm going to come down with a curve really close to her eyes to draw her bang. So it's just going to practically touch her eye. And then I'm going to go up with a curve and then come back down. So same exact thing on this side. So bring all the way down, touching that curve, come out, go back in and out. Then from there, we're going to come to the center again. So just come up a little bit more. So just say about right there. And in this area, I'm going to create a little curve. And from this curve, I'm going to go up on this side and come right back down. So same thing over here. Go up, 
and come right back down to your point. There, so we've created her bangs. Then from there, we can come into the side right here. We're gonna draw her ears. So kind of uh, flush to this curve, we just continue it. And we're gonna come down with a big long curve and come back about right there. So just about right in this area, loop it up and bring it in. So we're gonna do the same exact thing on the other side. So I'm gonna drag this point across, just approximate so I know where to go on the other side. And so same thing over here, about right there. And once again, I'm gonna go down to create her ear. So I know I'm gonna come back right here. So I'll go this way. And from there, let's come up and draw her hair on the top right here. So we're gonna start with the band first. So about right here, I'm gonna create a little curve. And um, just say about right here, I'm just gonna go ahead and create a circle. So this is gonna be the bell. So to make it look like a bell, come in here with a circle, a dot, and then come draw a straight line down from that dot. And then let's kind of Connect this for the band. So about right here, I'm just gonna go ahead and connect it. And then we're gonna pop out her hair up here. So it's just a one big curve. Goes all the way around and back. And then there's a smaller one right here. So just pop that in and back in there. And for some details, you just come in here and wobble a curve across. And same thing here. Okay, so then we're pretty much done with her head, except for her cheeks right here when you're coloring it. You can just put two little ovals right here on the side when you're coloring. And then now we can go ahead and draw her body. So it's gonna be very centered, so about right here. And here, not too big. I'm draw a curve. And this is gonna be the beginnings of her shoulders kind of slope down. And then using that as my guide, I'm going to say about right here and here would be where her armpits would be. So about right in this area, I'm just gonna go ahead with two angle lines. So then now I can come back in here and add some details. So I'm gonna to come to the center. This is my center, so about right here. Give this little V for her neckline. And then using this as my point, I'm gonna come out, continue this out a little bit, and bring a straight line down. So then now we can go ahead and draw her um, collar right here. So using this point, I'm gonna go up, zigzag, and back. So same thing on this side. Go up, zigzag, and back. And then now we can go ahead and bring this down more for her shirt. So a little bit more. And then from there, I'm gonna go ahead and connect it with a curve all the way back. And then I can bring this line down, all the way down. And then now we can draw her sleeves. So right here, I'm gonna bring this down, about right there, and bring it in. So same thing on this side. So let's drag this point across so we know where to end. And approximate, about right there, and connect. So then from there, let's, um, let's come down here and draw her skirt. So we're gonna come in a little bit and let's draw a little angle line on both sides. Just bring it in just a little bit more. And about right there, I'll go ahead and connect it. And then her feet. So right, um, find the center, so 
it's not this line this line is slightly off center so it's very distracting but this would be about my center so about right here and here I'm going to add two lines and then right here draw her feet so I'm going to work on this one first about right there I'll stop and bring out a curve and in then to give it some details, add the shoe. So right here, put in a curve and another curve. So same thing on this side. So right there. And here. So then bring out a curve. And once again, a curve and a curve. So we have our feet in. And then um, before I forget on her skirt right here, I'm just going to add two lines right here for some detail. And okay, let's draw her hand. So right here is going to come out. Just a very simplified hand. It's just gonna like a little stump. <laughs> and bring it back in. So same thing on this side. So I'm just going to drag this point across. So I know approximately. All right there and bring it in okay so then now for um, for her tail in this little area right here we're just going to pop in a curve and a nice big curve right here and tuck it in and if you like and add some detail right here because there's two colors in her tail two little curves and so then now we can go in and draw the buttons. So I'm just going to add, let's see, one, four buttons. So another one here and one more. And of course, in this area, let's draw a big circle. So we're going to draw the leaf logo. So let's come in here with a little stem and then the leaf in this area and then in this area is going to be a hole and connect okay so then it is pretty much done the drawing of Isabel here um, on her shirt um, there's all this um, leaf pattern so I just wanted to come right here and show you really quickly if you wanted to add a leaf pattern how you would draw the leaf so you can just start with a stem and thicken up the stem if you like and then Let's draw the leaf. So we're going to come out with a curve on both sides. And this side's going to come all the way down. It's going to kind of curve out. So just remembering your center. And let's bring this down more. And then in this area, we're just going to add a little hole in there <laughs> and connect. And so then this line's going to continue through the leaf. And then you can come in here with some details, some curves. And one more. So that's the basic pattern if you would like to put it in her shirt. Um, let me just bring this up to finish it off. So there, that's pretty much it for Isabel from Animal Crossing. And I hope I made it easy for you to follow along and draw this too. Thanks so much for watching. And if you loved it, please make sure to uh, subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Jurassic Cube videos. See you later.